So we were uh, we went uh, camping. My my parents and I and my aunties and uncles. And uh, we we were telling the uh, the, the uh, scary stories and something like that around the around the fireplace, the roasting marshmallows and all that. And then I got a story to go, a uh, story to tell. <laughs> so like, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you gotta hear this. So this is this is about a little boy. His name is Bobby. Uh, not Bobby Brown. Uh, he's a he's a, a, a senior at the high school, and uh, he, and when he gets older, he wants to be an explorer. Not Dory the explorer, that would, because that would be too weird. Uh, no, it's I feel bad for this for this guy because he, he told his parents that uh, he wanted to be a, an, ex, an explorer right away, but these parents. Uh, doesn't allow it because he doesn't. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't really. He didn't go to college yet. Uh, why are you laughing? He, I mean, I feel bad when he was crying all night. He was crying all night. It was like he was praying to God, like God, please, please, I want to be ex explorer when I grow up. Not like that. That not like that Doherty explorer. Uh, but one night, uh, one night, this <laughs> this is really made up. One night uh, he was at the he was at he was at the prom he was at the prom with his friends with us right uh, and then he went and then the, when he when it, when it's like late at night like eleven o'clock uh, he told his buddy hey the, have a good night you too buddy <laughs> and then he went to and he and he drives home and then he's like you know what I don't want to I don't want to give a turd about my my parents, I'm gonna go straight straight to the forest and I go find what I see. So then when he got home, he tried to say take all his clothes and then put it into his explorer clothes like the crocodile hunter. Rest in peace, Steve Irwin. Uh, he's he's gonna get offended when I tell this. No, no, not Steve Irwin, Bobby, Bobby. You know, if there's any Bobbies out there, bobbleheads. <laughs> Anyways, so okay, back to the back to the real story. He uh, he went to the forest and he, he got his goggles on. He got his camera just in case if he wanted to take pictures of something. And then there there's just this growl, a long growl, and it's coming out of right behind there. And all he all he could hear was. <laughs> He didn't really care. He just keep going, and then, and then the growl came again. So then he looked behind. Biggest Bigfoot I ever seen. He, he's <laughs> he's like seven seven feet tall or something like that. Like how about now? He didn't know what to do, so he ran. He ran home, but then he tripped, tip over a by rock. <laughs> he fell down. He took out his camera. He, he filmed himself with a flashlight, like it, like it's the, the like the scene from the Blair Witch Project. He said, "I haven't seen that move, that stupid movie before." Is he brave? And he's not really brave enough. Not like I am. He is not brave as I am. So then he was apologizing to his mom and dad. Mom, dad, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know what to say. I, you, you're right. You're right. He done filming the stuff. He prayed to God. God, I'm so sorry. And then he, and then the growl, came again. Growl hurt. <laughs> Look behind you. He's still right behind him. So you know what he does? <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm. This is made up. He grabbed. He grabbed Bobby. With his stuff, including him, he took he took him and his stuff, and he throws right into the Mississippi River, right in the lake, not in the Mississippi River. 
<laughs> and I swear, <laughs> the Bigfoot sense is really messed up. He's like, <sighs> teenagers these days. Never mention that that Bigfoot has has a really good day because he threw him at the lake. <laughs> he would tell his buddies of mine, tell the buddies of his, that hey, I threw he threw some teenager, some youngster in the lake. Hey, it was pretty, yeah. Hey, grab some Pringles, bring a pizza flavor, babe. He would tell his mom and dad and, and all that. Told us, told us his wife and his son, and 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 when his when his Bigfoot's uh, birthday, his wife will will give him like a like like a credit card, like a gift card, like a Target gift card, like twenty dollars. And the Bigfoot is really happy again, and this is why I'm that Bigfoot. You see, no one way the old generation is better than the new ones. Thank you all very much.